Welcome back. This is the Brown Mountain Mystery Lights Part 2 Explained. These are observations from the 27th of December, 2021. These observations on that day were taken about an hour and a half after sunset, and I was up there for about at least two hours. The temperature at the Brown Mountain Lookout at that time was 57 degrees Fahrenheit or about 14 degrees Celsius. However, in the valley and also in the nearby cities, the temperature was much warmer at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 20 degrees Celsius. And also it was cloudy. Also the temperature variations between the lower elevations and the Brown Mountain Lookout created a lot of refraction. So the distant lights of the nearby cities appeared to be flickering on and off throughout the whole time I was there. This video is about explaining the most common causes of the lights. In most cases, the brown mountain lights are misidentified. They are either headlights, planes, or reflected light over the mountains. The intent of this video is not to confirm nor dismiss the brown mountain lights, but to eliminate the misidentification of the lights based on observations I have made. That low-lying ridge that you see right there is Brown Mountain. Throughout the time I was there, there were also some forest fires that were nearby. One of the things I want to point out are the city lights in the background as well as the cell phone towers. A lot of times, during days of strong refraction, it is possible that the distant city lights can appear just above the ridge and also appear slightly below the ridge in front of us to make it look like a light is bobbing up and down. Now, as we pan over the ridge here, you will actually start to see some city lights in the background towards the end here. So we'll get a little bit closer and there you see them right there. Just right above the ridge line, you can actually see the city lights. Now, this next explanation is the most common. And the most common cause of the brown mountain lights that are often misidentified are caused by planes. Now, in many cases, a plane that is coming towards us, especially with the lights that do not appear to be blinking on it, will look like an orange orb of light floating straight up. It's an illusion. The plane is going up, yes, but it gives the illusion that the plane is going straight up very slowly. Now I captured this plane with a 30 second time exposure. At the time, it looked like an orangish yellow ball just floating across the sky. But as the plane got closer, you can clearly see the blinking lights. But when I took this shot, there were no blinking lights at the time because it was so far away. Now, if you look at the bottom right of the light trail, you'll see it looks like there's like a hook that hooks to the left. That's not the actual movement of the light. What happened was when I took the picture, my shutter release was not working, so I had to do it by hand. I had to literally push the button by hand, so it caused a jerking movement, and that's why you see like a little tail at the end of the light trail. Now here are some more shots of planes in the sky without any blinking lights whatsoever when I took them. For example, this one right here actually kind of weaved in and out of the clouds. It looked like an orange orb that would just appeared and disappeared. The distant airplane is the most common cause of the brown mountain lights. Another cause that I have heard of and other people have been saying, and also I saw as well, are flashes of light in the valley and on the mountain. Now, if you look on the bottom left of the photograph right here, you will see reflections of light off the trees. This was caused by light from headlights penetrating deep into the forest, giving it the illusion of flashing lights because there's actually a corner of the road right there where it turns on Highway 181. There is a reason why the lights are most commonly seen 
in the fall and in the winter because there are no leaves on the trees, and therefore, light from headlights can penetrate deep into the forest. Now, if you take a look at this map of the Brown Mountain Lookout, it'll give you an idea about what I was looking at in the previous photo. That black arrow represents the direction I was aiming my camera from the previous photo. Now, the yellow represents the direction of the headlights that were reflected off the trees in the previous photo. And you can see where the curve that curves in towards Brown Mountain and back out a little bit on the bottom of this satellite image. I did find some light anomalies in this photograph. However, I believe these are hot pixels from the camera. Basically camera artifacts. And I found a couple of them in here. So here's another one over here. Let's bring it up a little bit closer. And I know it's here somewhere. Okay, let's see. Let's find it. We'll find it. Okay, there it is right there. There's another light anomaly. More than likely a camera artifact. I am not 100% sure on this, but pretty close. I'm pretty sure it's a camera artifact. And here's one more that I found. Again, the intention of this video was to weed out the misidentification of the Brown Mountain Lights. As of this moment, I cannot confirm the existence of these lights and I cannot reject the existence of these lights. I'm going to return again to do another video on the Brown Mountain Lights but this time I'm going to go to Wise Man's View. This is the area where the lights are seen the most. In fact that mountain you see right there is called Table Rock Mountain. However there are trails up there so any lights you see up there may be from either headlights or flashlights from hikers.